Hey guys, so I posted a picture yesterday of a new to me dye technique that I tried called marbling. And I've had several people request a video tutorial on how to do this. I am a leather crafter by trade. I am not a video maker. Um, so please forgive this background and the video quality, but I'm gonna do my best to try to share what I did, hopefully it'll work for you. I definitely encourage you to give it a shot. It was a lot of fun. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And let's do it. Okay, so before you get started, you wanna make sure you've got some plastic wrap laid down and some gloves. So I use Gillette Foaming Shaving Cream. I think any foaming shaving cream will work. I used also Fabings Pro Dye. This is my go-to dye for pretty much everything I do. A medicine dropper I just picked up at my local pharmacy. So you wanna put down a decent layer of shaving cream. I tried to make it about a quarter of an inch thick. I don't think that it has to be precise. At least most of the things that I do aren't precise. So this is what I went with. And this is why we wear gloves. I just threw that right in the trash to get it out of the way. Next, I take my medicine dropper, just fill up some dye, started with the light brown. And I just wanted to make sure I covered enough area for the piece of leather that I'm gonna use. And since this was a scrap piece, um, I just kind of threw some down and wanted to leave enough space in between the drops for the darker dye that I'm gonna go back with. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't get too cluttered with it because I wanted there to be enough negative space. And it's worth mentioning that before I started, I did use my airbrush to put down a light coat just to make sure that there weren't gonna be any completely undyed areas. I wanted to make sure that it was not so dark that it hid the pattern that I'm trying to put on the leather, but I found that the light brown, just a few quick swipes with an airbrush, did a really good job. And then here I'm going back with the dark and just kind of filling in some of those spots. When I first did this, I used my scratch all. I know a lot of people have mentioned that they use a toothpick, and today I just picked up I sew a needle because that's what was sitting next to my workspace. And I wanted to make sure that I got all the areas swirled around. I'm sure some of you guys out there probably do things in a more, well, in, a, in a way that makes more sense. I just kind of go for random, so it worked out. And really, I think as long as you get it mixed together a fair bit, you just have fun with it. Now you're just going to take your leather and firmly press it down on the mixture that you've made. Make sure you push it down in there far enough that all the surface area is covered um, because the top of that shaving cream is probably not going to be completely flat. So you're gonna wait about 10 seconds just so it can soak up some of that dye and then pry up a corner before you just peel it off. Make sure you have some paper towels handy just so it doesn't have to sit on there any, any longer. And I just use a few paper towels to kind of clean the majority of the mixture off the top and then go back with a, a, a pretty clean paper towel and just get the rest of the little bits off. And that's about it. So it's finished product. Okay, so it's just that simple. Um, here's the finished product, just, just a scrap piece. Um, and look at that, I've dialed my hands but that's what happens. And I'm sure you guys know all about that. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. There's probably a million different ways to do it. That's just what works for me. So 
Have fun. Give it a shot.